Hello, people. It's Ann. And it's a Wednesday afternoon, which means I'm running between classwork and there's housework being done and I have errands to do and all manner of thing like that and my phone is going hey message and i'm going hey too bad anyway i'm just smearing some stuff here and there on this mug yeah for any of you who haven't heard recently i'm still 60. there's wrinkles there's hooded eyes. There's loose skin. Now, technically, I'm still in my jammies doing housework kind of clothes and school clothes and since I'm on the line. I'm getting closer. I just picked a minor. At this point, I should be finished with my classes somewhere 2001, excuse me, 2021. I'll be all right in a minute. The windows are open. The sun is shining and it's kind of slipping back and forth between clouds. Laundry is in progress. I said that already, didn't I? Anyway, I get the win. I'm just messing around, putting stuff on my face to see what kind of trouble I can get up to today before I go out of the house to do the out of the house errands. It's, it's dog food buying time. Let's see. Yeah, Street Ink, Malibu Glitz. Mister is poking his nose in to see if his timer has gone off for one of the things he's doing. And no, it hasn't. <laughs> All righty. Let's see what kind of a mess I can make today. I've been just kind of taking it easy this week. Last week was kind of rough. It just was. No, I haven't put the temporary tattoo back on yet. I'm still working on designs, thinking about designs, wondering if I want to do the butterfly wings a little more decorative instead of using the bracket. I'm not looking at having the funds for the work until probably the end of July. You have to save up for this stuff a little bit. The couple of places that I have talked to to get information on their artists and did some online research on the places and have gotten it narrowed down a bit. There's one here in town and then there's two in the next town over that are both highly recommended, have really good reviews. The portfolios on Facebook look excellent. So most of them start with a $50 minimum, even for a small tattoo. And then it's like a hundred bucks an hour or so, depending on the artist. So. Uh, 
this still gives me a little time to work at it, you know? Fiddle with it a little, talk to the artist, get their input. Because, believe me, one of the things you want to do is have a really good rapport with your artist. It's much easier to deal if you and your artist are on the same page with stuff. Let's see. I think I'm going to start here. I like this pink. It's a really pretty bright serious pink this is seriously a pink there is no other way to think about it it is pink and it's got pinkitude it has serious pinkitude going to do a pink and blue for the day and then I'm going to put on my party hair yes I have party hair no it's not a wig Then I put out the other day where I had my first pride look for the pride month. I lost a follower. Imagine that. I'm so broke up. See the tears in my eye. Anyway, I don't know if I can show this in the camera or not because of where I got it hung up. But what I've got is clip-on hair. It's hanging behind me. The purple one is hanging down over the one side. And this clip-on hair is only about this wide. But it's about yay long. And it's in a multitude of colors. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be representing when I go out for my errands. And so far, going out representing hasn't been too much of a hassle, even in this little town. It just hasn't. I rather figured it might be, but it wasn't so bad. I went out with my seriously multicolored look on. And nobody bothered me. We'll see if that maintains.
Now this pink and blue is, yes, in some spots, going to turn kind of purpley because I've got a lot of overlay going on here. That's okay with me. Yep, I lost a follower, and you know what? I am not unhappy about it. If they're going to unfollow, because I did my version of a pride look, well then, that's on them. And I'm not changing. I am who I am. And I feel how I feel. And on top of being an ally for others, I am on the LGBT plus spectrum and I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I just am not. Now, if you hear kind of an echoey bit of strange music in the background, my husband is playing his favorite Pandora station while he does some of his chores out in the other room. I'm hoping I can get it filtered out enough that I don't get in trouble with some copyright foolishness. We shall see. Now, both of these colors came out of the Street Ink palette, and the Street Ink palette is all mattes. And I'm not mad at that. Pink and blue is for the buy. There's actually variations of the pink and blue with the bi and the trans and I'm bi. Well, bi queer because I am occasionally just a bit more gender fluid. Mine tends not to be terribly demonstrated unless I'm in the right mood, right situation. But give me those, and yeah, the gender fluid sneaks out and scares the hoo hoo out of some people. Now, one of the things I'm going to do, since I like a little sparkle, is I am going to dust some sparkly stuff over it, probably some of my highlighter. And I'm going to go put my hair additions on. 
and do things like finish up the rest of this mug. I might do a little of it while I'm sitting here. And then I'll put my going outside clothes on for the day. Because I have to go get doggy food. My doggies want to eat. It's the day to get the doggy food. It's again one of those things where I wonder why, even with a bronze tour, I wonder why I bother going under the chin other than it just kind of takes some of the shine of red out of the big pouch there. So, you know... Sometimes you just gotta. And then I've got a little bit of pinky for the cheekies. This is one of the cover girl cheekers I've got on my homemade. Elf BB cream where I take the SPF 50 moisturizer and the SPF 50 primer both of which with that claim universal tint and I kind of take a splat of this and a splat of that and mix them together and make a pretty passable BB cream the primer is really really thick and I'm not fond of the primer being that thick. And the moisturizer from the Beauty Shield line is really, really thin. And that's not a great consistency either. Put them together beautiful. The quote-unquote universal tint on the primer has a tendency to seem a little pinky to me, which is not a good shade for me. I've got very yellow undertones. So, yeah, I don't do the pinkies very well for a foundation. I just don't. Okay, that'll bring up some shimmer. I'll do my eyeliner and all that stuff off of the screen. Because this is going to be just chatty enough, I think, maybe. I know I'm doing my hair off of the screen because that's that takes a minute. And... I don't want to make you sit here all day while I fiddle around with this. Yes, like I said, we have the windows open. There's a nice breeze going.
Now, here's one of the problems I've been having ever since that Rimmel Serum I've been using, which I may have a few issues with on another topic. Because I can't really bitch and beat the hell out of wet and wild for pretty much the same thing that Rimmel's doing. So maybe looking for a different lash serum. You know, with this thing with selling to a com country that insists on animal testing when it's no longer really have been proven a long time ago to be no longer really a thing that needs to be done. I'm starting to run out of my inexpensive stuff. My cruelty-free stuff, my choices are getting lower and lower, which is really annoying. Anyway, I'm going to go finish this up. You don't need to watch my shaky hands try to put a line on these eyes. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Got jewels on, including my resistance rose. Yes, it looks like a rose. It's actually a little raised fist because... I don't like how things are going and yeah, resistance. All right. Yes, this is my clip in hair and it's breezy outside and I'm getting ready to go run errands. So yes, I tied it down just a bit. The only thing that bugged me about this particular pack is after I got it, I found out there was no yellow so it it's a little off and i tried to make up for it with the yellow here but anyway if you like clip-in hair like stuff like this this was less than ten dollars for a pack this is the brights and i've got pastels left over from this there's no yellow in the pastel either um I'm going to be putting a pink lip on and this is one of the elf lip lacquers and this one is in bold pink no kidding It feels wonderful, and it tastes pretty good. Which I think is always nice. Try to round this out just a little bit, because this side has got a very pointed top to the cupid's bow this side not so much now i really do wish elf would get off the stick and really expand their foundation range and that kind of thing because you know they're a great line the products are good but down six maybe seven shades of foundation come on guys you know we're half almost halfway through 2019 get your shiz together all right now the little bit of sparkle that's currently on the eyes is from the la colors loose shimmering pigments 
I picked these up over at Dollar Tree. Yes, lots of them. Lots of pretty colors. If you go to some place that carries the regular line of LA colors, you can sometimes get a larger range. But I've got a bronze, a gold, this white, a silver, a pink, and a purple. And I'm 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 pretty good with that. So, what you think? No, really, what'd you think? <laughs> Let me know. I like talking to y'all. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready for errands because if I don't go on my errands, my doggies will have no doggy food and that will make them very sad and very annoyed. Yeah. Don't want to annoy the puppies. Now, when I keep talking about things like, you know, this is the, the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Primer. And the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Moisturizer. Both of them are SPF 50. So, I don't mind mixing them. And I get a good coverage, and I get a really nice result. I don't come home usually with horrendous, excuse me, sunburns or anything like that. The only thing other that I've got on right now besides my homemade setting spray is some of the Zero Sweat Antiperspirant Lotion that I've got on my forehead and around my nose because it's warm. It's decided it wants to be warm here in Southeast Oregon. So... Yeah, I put a little bit on so that I don't, like, schwitz all of my pretty stuff off immediately. But I actually wrote to Elf, and I said, look, stop mucking around. Combine these two. Go ahead and call it Universal Tint. I don't care. It's pale enough that it works beautifully on me, okay? It's not Universal both of them say universal tint though this one pulls kind of pink this one pulls kind of gray when I mix the two together they come out gray no it's not going to be universal tint for everybody my biggest complaint is they're $12 a piece but then when I look at some of the things like it CC cream that has a similar SPF level. I'm going 40 bucks. Kiss my butt. <laughs> yeah, no, not happening. So, yeah. Time to go do some shopping and getting and rethinking some of my stuff like some of my Rimmel and, which is really annoying because I just picked up a mascara that I'm really happy with and just picked up a really nice rainbow palette and one of their, their other really bright colored palettes and then I get uppish and go do my research. I'm still kind of sketchy about research, yes. I do the best I do with everything else that I'm doing. If you hear me repping a line that you know is not actually cruelty free like you know Rimmel and L'Oreal and NARS and some of the other ones that have been selling in China and already deal with the animal testing or like Wet n Wild which Wet n Wild had an update where they say they've got a 
thing in their contract with China that China is supposed to let them know if there's a problem with a product before they take it to aftermarket testing and they will pull it themselves. I'm not comfortable believing that the Chinese government is necessarily going to bother to notify a cosmetic company before they do the animal testing. I mean, please, with our own government, I don't see that happening on a regular basis. They'll hear about it after it's done. So, yeah. Anyway, where was I going? Errands, yes. Must go to the place of dog food getting. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see something else. Let me know if you know of some other brands I really should stay away from. This uh, brand thing, though, is getting on my last nerve. It really is cutting down on my availability for low-end price cosmetics that I can use that I feel comfortable recommending to someone else. It's really annoying. Anyway, no, there is no bail money. Be good. Thank <laughs> you.